Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I have another PC build for you guys and aesthetically, I think this is the best one I've built so far. Um, I was able to get this deal on eBay for a motherboard, CPU and RAM for I think around $140 after shipping and taxes. In this bundle, I got a MSI Z170A, I think it's pronounced Crates Gaming motherboard. And uh, it has this nice white and black aesthetics. The motherboard came really clean. You can tell whoever owned it really took good care of it. An i5-6600K. Two eight gigabyte RAM sticks clocked at 3000 megahertz, which has this really nice red colorway to it. For the storage, I decided to go with this team group 512 gigabyte SSD. I'm gonna be transparent with you guys and the CPU cooler that I bought with is the Cooler Master i71C. This cooler actually originally came from the last PC build that I did. Um, after some testing, I just felt like it was running a little bit harder than I felt comfortable with. I didn't want to sell it to somebody and potentially have them have issues down the line, which I doubt, but rather be safe than sorry. Um, I had changed it to this Cooler Master Hyper 212, which made a huge difference. I would say it dropped the temperature to at least 20 degrees lower. Now the best part of all is the GPU, and I was able to pick this up locally. It is a MSI GTX 1650. I grabbed it for around $120, pretty much brand new. This thing is really clean. It even has the plastic piece on it. Now to get this whole PC powered up, I got a 500 watt, I think it's pronounced Aries game or Eries game. Now I decided to try something different here. I got some red vinyl wrap to wrap the side of the power supply. That way it matches the RAM sticks and the red extension cables. Now before we get started with the build, I just want to give you guys a quick tip. So every time you buy something used or even new sometimes, you always want to test out your product. You want to put everything together and then get your power supply and connect your 24 pin, your CPU pins, graphics card with this power. And then the bottom of the motherboard where your case cable wires would go, you just want to jump the two pins with your power and negative. I always test all my stuff that I buy new or used. And then once I confirm that everything's working, then I get started with the build. First things first, let's start off with the CPU. Now the CPU, if you look at the bottom left, there's like a golden arrow. Now that golden arrow is gonna be on the bottom left of the CPU socket. And this should just pop right in. No force, just literally just pops right in. Now this, don't be afraid, it just slides underneath that screw. And clicks right in. Now the second step is your RAM sticks. Now, if you look at your motherboard right here in this corner, it tells you where you want to put your first two sticks, which is DIMM 2 and DIMM 4. You want to press down these two levers on DIMM 2 and DIMM 4. Now, of course, your RAM sticks only go one way. There's a short, there's a shorter side and a long side. So you just want to line that up and wait for the click. Next up is a CPU cooler, but before you do that, you want to apply a little bit of thermal paste on the CPU, which is extremely important. Next up is a CPU cooler. Now make sure you line up the holes nice and evenly. You just want to get each corner started a bit on opposite ends and then slowly start cranking them down one by one. Now the last step before we get this motherboard in the case is your SSD. Just wanna slide this in. Let it hang like that and then just put some pressure down and screw it in. Now let's get this into the case. Finally, we got the PC all wired up, finished. As always, let's get our Windows 10, do 
USB, got a power cable, HDMI, fingers crossed. Ooh, there we go, nice. Oh, I love that. Love that LED front right there. Ooh, look at that. I really like that red, red, black, and white. Come on, really good. Let's take a look at the front. And as always, load it right up. This case does come with its own uh, Elite RGB button here, but you know, you can switch it any color. Oh, I like that. I think I'm, oh man. Also cycles through all the colors. Does different, has a different modes. CPU cooler also has its own modes. Got the little button in the back. Oh yeah, right there. So if you're looking to build something like this, here's the parts and the prices that I paid for. The only difference is the motherboard, CPU, and RAM. Of course, I got that as a bundle. In the GPU, I would definitely try to get something local to get a better deal. All right guys, time to wrap up the video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe if you wanna keep following for more of these builds. Thank you for watching.